Okay, hey guys, working on 2014 Chevy Cruze, and one thing I noticed, you know, pop your hood, just check stuff, I see oil all over here down near the turbo, ended up finding out that this right here that's leaking is the oil feed line to the turbo. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but we are getting a P0299 and a P1101 induction air measurement in a turbocharger under boost condition since this is losing oil i'm not sure if this is causing an under boost but also right here this boot here is torn try using some tape to seal it up but this could also be causing a lean condition as well so we're going to replace this boot and we're going to replace this oil feed line to uh to try to fix our problem plus we don't want oil dripping right here by the exhaust manifold it could set a fire so let's get started okay first off please make sure you're working on a cold engine don't be working on a hot engine and burn yourself but these are e-tents that wasn't supposed to happen all right and we'll pull this up and out take that okay let's say anytime you're playing with these torque bits what happens is if you don't have a good connection you can strip them it's always good to just try to scrape out any debris that might get in here so that we got a nice good seal so t t45 nice and firm I'm gonna break it and here we go there you go. And that's up and up. Side is a E10. That bad boy is dirty, but that's okay. This one. Let me see if I can wobble this out just like that. Beautiful. And pull you up and out <clears throat> okay their o-ring right there has to come off i'll take that off in a second but this is our new this is our old now depending on a year of your chevy cruise some of these have the old style the old style oil feed line where it doesn't even have a double gasket it's actually a one gasket this actually does have the updated model which is crazy but as you can see right there that gasket is busted and that's where our oil was leaking at and like i said if you have the old one you probably don't have this heat shield you probably don't have this double gasket so let's take this gasket off that's on here make sure you never double gasket something good to look out for we'll see there we go oh that wasn't smart of me though i pushed that shit. <laughs> Well, I guess it'll fall. Shit. I didn't think about that. Thing you never want to do is never install your gaskets dry. If you do, you can stretch them, you can rip them. Good idea to put a little bit of dielectric grease on. I mean, silicone actually. Okay. Silicone paste and dielectric grease, I believe, are the same thing, but get a little bit of silicone. And we're just going to, nothing crazy, nice little light coating of silicone on this bushing. Make sure I don't have that normal feed. And we're going to put just a tiny bit, there's a little, little seal right there too. I'm going to try to use this. Little cotton swab right here it's a dribble right here on that seal clean off the excess okay make sure we don't let this thing fall and the way it went in goes like this push it through right there and right here it's actually a snug fit 
it with all this snow fit. All right, you want, you watch me right here. You should hear this thing kind of pop in place. There you go. Can you see right here? Yeah. Yeah, we just want to hear that. Nice and that. We heard both of those gaskets see very beautiful. And here, let me get my Torx bit. I believe that's bigger. That looks larger. It's a T55. Yeah, looking at a T55 with the new one. Old one, T45. New one, T55. This one here. And... And right there, as soon as you feel it, feel like it don't want to go no more, just stop. I don't, I don't believe I, I went over 15 foot pounds. I'll kind of check it for you guys to see you. And it got it on there nice and firm. And let it start to spin. It's a good thing to check for is make sure that this has no play. This is your wastegate actuator. If you ever start your car up and you hear like rattling or pinging, your wastegate could be uh could be bad. But this is nice and firm, so that's beautiful. So let's get this on here. And concept. Remember these bolts are small. I wouldn't go no more than ten, no more than ten foot pounds on that. Using a one fourth inch torque wrench, because I could easily strip that, no problem. And place this back here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it probably it'll probably fall when you drive it, but I'm just gonna area. Went off. As you can see here, it's ripping here too. Just like that. Oh, look at that. And yeah, look at that. This thing is done. Uh, look at that. Terrible. My God, that thing fell apart so bad. This does have the aftermarket intake. We have a K&N on here. We have the stock one. We have a good one like this. Like this. And put you on here first. And then twist that like that. Nice and sealed down. Beautiful. I just stuff that one of those locking tabs. Cool. Clean this up. Everything's installed properly. No rattling. That's good. No more. No more valve cover leak. No more oil leak by exhaust manifold. Thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time. Out. Bye.